before I've previously reviewed other software by NCH Software, including WavePad, which is an audio editor, MixPad, which is a multi-track audio editor. Now I'm going to review VideoPad, the pro version. When you start, you'll be presented with a welcome dialog where you can create a new project, open a project, watch video tutorials, or open the Get and Start guide. Let's just close that. It has a ribbon-like interface that we've come to expect from other programs by this company, including WavePad and MixPad. Let's start off by having a look at preferences. Here, we can have a resolution set for the preview window. We'll select a preset. You can use software or hardware accelerated rendering. I recommend if it works well enough for you, depending upon your specs, I would try and use OpenGL hardware accelerated rendering, not software. You can choose to show the welcome dialog or not. You can change your playback device for listening to the playback. Media, you can select a few things here such as stereo 3D input format. Do you want to be asked or do you want to set one that you always want to use there? You can also select automatically normalize the audio volume, which is a handy feature. You can select an output default output here as well. Editing, you can select default transition duration, one second by default. External editors, you can select to use an external editor for your audio and image editing. By default, it's set to a couple of their programs, and, such as WavePad for audio. Export options here, such as fade out audio for 500 milliseconds at the end of sequences or not. Disk is where you can select some things such as your default capture video folder, captured audio folder, captured snapshot folder, your cache here as well. That's okay that. On your default ribbon here, under home you have open a project, save a project, add a video file, add text, add a blank file, like a blank uh, block of color, record from here. So you can select to record video from some external device or webcam. You can capture your screenshot. You can actually do a screen capture here and record your desktop, kind of like I'm doing now, but using a different program. You can record audio, such as from a USB microphone or record a narration over the video. You can apply video effects, audio effects, transitions, delete. A, uh, so you have a, so you've split an area here. You can select it and delete it out of the way. You can undo, redo. Add subtitles, preview, export your video from here, get to preferences, or look at some of their other software. Clips has a lot of the same options, but it also has a new bin file, delete bin file, sort and find. Sequence has new sequence, delete, duplicate sequence, your effects, audio and transitions are again split at current uh, playback position. So say we went and got went here, could click it and it would split it down there. Audio, new file, audio from a CD, add stock sound. Let's just take a quick look. Here they provide you with some stock sound free to use, such as sound of, say, a camera clicking, gunshots, cannon shots, various little sound effects you can use. Text-to-speech, so you can type in text and it will turn it into speech. Record is available from there again. Fade for fading your audio and things in and out. Audio effects and delete there again. Export. Export to a video file on your computer. A 3D video file. Burn to DVD or Blu-ray. That's good. I've used some other programs that you can export to a DVD, but they don't give you Blu-ray support. This does have Blu-ray. In fact, if we use a drop-down, you can select a Blu-ray data disc or movie disc. Same with DVD. Image sequence, such as basically render all the frames as uh, still images. Hex, um, upload directly to YouTube, Facebook, Flickr, Dropbox, or Google Drive. Dropbox support is particularly good, I think. It could come in very handy. Sweet is just basically shortcuts to some of their other programs, such as Prism, which is one of their converter programs. Wavepad. Like I say, it's an audio editor that I've reviewed previously. Mixpad's a multi-track audio editor that I've also reviewed previously. And there's a few others here as well. 
custom is where you can have a ribbon that you have customized yourself with only the options that you want which is quite a good idea here we have basically your library here you can add videos which i'll do in just a sec create a folder sequences to create different sequences your audio files or your image files here plus is to create a new bin or new library if you will as you can see i've imported a dot move movie file quick time movie file here it is under videos you get a pr clip preview here sequence preview would preview the whole project basically you can play it here look at the current time in out points things like that i will paste the clip onto the sequence let's just do that shall we there we go it's down here now you also have a storyboard view here as well the timeline is what you're most commonly going to be using you can also add another sequence here let's select it as you can see there's your sequence preview let's look at what video effects are it's things like crop but it's also things like green screen auto levels brightness color curves exposure hue temperature saturation scale rotate position motion blur motion mirror transparency ripple shadow tiles vignette and waves as well as a few others such as add noise uh, and a few old kind of effects there as well you can also edit the effect properties from here or change the speed of them from there it would be the same sort of case if you had an audio file selected as well let's have a look at transitions you can select to have no transitions you can select a cross fade dissolve fade fade through and a whole bunch of others including a couple 3d ones and a zoom one i would like to see more transitions available subtitle menu here you add your subtitles go along add more if you're familiar with the caption sort of editing on youtube videos it's kind of similar how the windows here are divided into two I don't like because it's too much way too much clutter and I think that's what people perhaps will notice first about it you have a clip preview here which is a preview things that are in your library then you have a sequence preview to preview things basically your entire project how some editors such as Final Cut Pro 10 do this is it depends what you have selected if there is just one preview window here so it doesn't look so cluttered and it's not you don't have two separate windows all merged there you have one preview window and then if you went up here selected a file in your library the preview would display that you go down here select it down here then this entire preview window would just be what's in your timeline so there's one preview window and it switches back and forth depending upon what you have selected at that time. I think that's a much better way of doing it than this. From up here, you can register and get the preferences in your about box. You have your standard kind of options for new projects, save project, preview project, export video, backup your projects. You also have the dialogue here to get to add in new files to your library. You can even add a 3D file that you may have on your computer, which is kind of neat. I like how this has 3D support, not all editors do. You can get to add images as video, record from here, launch one of their other programs, run an audio setup dialogue. Edit is pretty self explanatory. Clips is to get to things like add file, add text, add a blank clip import from cd sound effects library clip art library images as video text to speech your effects move bin new bin new folder a lot of the options that's on the interface just down under the clip track is the solo track lock clip lock track collapse track rename the track delete the track new sequence delete sequence and duplicate sequence from the sequence menu and split it at the position preview and export there they seem to have export under almost every menu. I don't think it needs to be under quite so many. 
Video effects is what I've shown you before just on the menu bar. Audio effects is what's down here, just up here. Transitions, the same thing. Export, all your export options are here under this menu. Tools for taking a snapshot or editing subtitles. View is your standard view menu. Window is your standard view uh, window menu as well. Then help to check for new versions of the software and to get to things like bug re send a bug report, sign up to a newsletter, or watch the video tutorials. Okay, so now you've had a little preview of the interface. What do I think? Very full featured video editor for not uh, not a huge amount of money like some. It is also available on Windows and Mac. The only two issues I have with it are one I've already mentioned, which is too much clutter here. Two sequence, uh, two previews, clip and sequence preview. When all there has to be is one preview that does both. The other thing I find, at least here on the Mac version, I can't speak for the Windows version. I haven't used it, but on the Mac one, exporting is too slow. It's, it seems to take an awful long time to export. When I export from Final Cut Pro 10, which is the editor, I pretty much always use that one doesn't seem to take as much time to do the same job so I would like more perhaps more hardware acceleration options or better hardware acceleration options or just basically a real good speed improvement and boost to the exporting however like I say that may depend upon your hardware and platform so I recommend you go and get a trial there is a trial available Go get a trial on your computer, on your platform, whether it's Windows or Mac. Make some thinking. It doesn't have to be a serious thing that you go to put on the web or whatever. Just open some video files, put it down in your timeline, split them, add effects, add some transitions, add some text, export it, and have a look at how long it seems to be taking. If you're fine with it, then you know go for it. Nice editor. Uh, lots of options so I do like it overall just I'd like the two preview windows merged into one multifunctional preview window and a huge speed bo boost to the export in so thanks for watching please like and share this video and if you could do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel it only takes a few seconds and will help me out a lot thanks